Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about Newton's third law of motion. You must have noticed that when people dive off of a diving board, they push down on the springboard. The board springs back and forces them into the air. Why does this happen? Newton's third law of motion can explain this phenomenon. Have you ever wondered how a rocket flies? Let's understand Newton's third law of motion as we launch our own balloon rocket. To make this balloon rocket, we will need a balloon, a straw, a rubber band, some thread and a cello tape. Let's now quickly make this balloon rocket. There, our rocket's ready. As I remove the rubber band from the mouth of the balloon and release the air, my balloon rocket takes off. We did this activity in a larger area. Take a look. Notice carefully the direction of the air coming out of the balloon and the direction of the motion of the rocket. Opposite, right? I wonder why. Newton's third law of motion explains this phenomenon which can be stated as for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Here, the propelling jet of air, that is the action from the mouth of the balloon, makes the balloon propagate with an equal force, but in the opposite direction, that is the reaction. Let's learn this law with another activity. Here, we have a plastic PVC pipe and a bottle brush. If we push the brush halfway inside the pipe and hold the pipe vertically in one hand, and I will repeatedly tap on the top of the pipe. What do you observe? Instead of coming down, the brush goes up. Why is this happening? If you observe carefully, you will realize that the brush is not going up. The pipe is going down. If we fix the pipe with a stand and then do this activity, nothing will happen. The brush will not even fall down nor will it go up. I'm sure now you will be able to tell how a diving board springs back and forces you to jump in the air. Have you ever made a straw spinner? Let's make our own straw spinner and learn Newton's third law of motion through it. We will make the straw spinner using a fat and a thin straw, scissors and tape. I took the fat straw and folded it in half to find its center. I made a hole at the center. Then I sealed off both its ends and nipped off corners, one above and one below. Then I made a hole towards the end of the thinner straw. When I put this hole into the center hole of the fat straw and close the other end, and blow through the thinner straw, my spinner is ready. How is this happening? Air escapes from the diagonally opposite holes in the patter straw. When the air escapes, the straw gets pushed into the opposite directions and it rotates. Thus, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Let's perform one more fun activity. Here, we have a container which is half filled with water. Let's keep it on the weighing machine. We have to now note down the weight. Remember this. Now, I will dip my fist inside the water without touching the edge of the container. What do you observe? The measurement on the weighing scale increases. As I remove my fist, the measurement goes back to its original value. Why do you think that is happening? When my hand pushes down the water without touching the edge of the bucket, it displaces water as much as its volume. The buoyant force acting on my hand is pushing my hand upward, but my hand is not moving upward. It is applying the exact amount of force back on the water as the buoyant force. If you calculate 
you will find that the volume of my fist is proportional to the added weight shown by the weighing scale. You know what? We experience Newton's third law of motion in our day-to-day -day life. When we punch on a punching bag without gloves, it really hurts our hand. That's because the punching bag applies an equal and opposite force on our fist. Similarly, when we swim, we apply force on water which results in reacting force from the water in the backward direction. Thus, we move our hand in backward direction and we move forward. Try to find more examples of Newton's third law of motion in your surroundings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.